Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be kind of showing you around our land that's just a few miles down the road from our house where we live at. It's uh, where we keep our travel trailer, uh, our Forest River 29 V-Bud Wildwood. And um, so I'm going to kind of show you around our place today. Uh, it's Easter. So happy Easter everybody. And um, this is a real special day. Um, you know, this is the day that, you know, we remember that Jesus rose from the tomb and he sacrificed himself on Friday and then rose uh, today on Sunday. So really important day for us um, and for my family and all that. And we're just hanging out, uh, my mom and my dad, and then my, um, two kiddos Clayton and Colton and my wife Stephanie so we're just going to be kind of hanging out and I'll kind of show you guys around guys we're riding around on the golf cart say what's up what's up this is Clayton's golf cart that my mom and dad got him uh, his grandparents got him a couple years ago for his birthday he's an excellent driver this is our pond out here we're gonna be doing some fishing here in a little bit but we've got a uh, mother uh, goose out there on the island that uh, her and her family fly back every year and she had, lays her eggs on that island and she sits on those eggs and doesn't move until they hatch she's all squatted down right now trying to hide so you can't see her there's the papa. that's the papa right there his name is drake they named him drake but he stays out here and kind of watches over uh, his little mama. This is our property. Uh, it's been in our family for a little while. My grandparents bought it. Uh, I think back in the early 80s, if I'm not mistaken. So we got deer feeders out here. One there and one over off in the distance. That's the studio house that my grandpa built got a deck on the top and then we've got this barn dough I think it's about uh, 1800 square feet and then we've got a shed over there and then we've got a caboose over off in the distance um, so it was one year my grandpa got my grandmother she wanted a caboose to bring out here so he found her a caboose and had it brought out here so that's it right there that's the shed Sorry if my voice is up and down, it's kind of a bumpy ride. Especially with him driving. What? I'm just kidding, he's a good driver. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just show you all around the travel trailer since uh, I'm already right here. So this is our 2022 uh, Forest River Wildwood 29 V-Bud that Clayton just hit with the ball 
This is a 7,600 dry weight, but with everything loaded up, we're really close to about 9,000 pounds and then water uh, in our holding tank. Uh, it's 30, it's just a, it's 36.2 feet long. And uh, so it's got the, the dual propane tanks. It's got storage here on both sides. It has a refrigerator and a griddle in this compartment. It's got the stereo outside. And uh, we got the windows tinted on it last year. We've had it, we've got it brand new. Let me turn some lights on. We got it brand new uh, at Funtown RV and um, in Cleburne, or I can't remember if that's called Cleburne or Alito. One of those. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up all the windows get a little bit more light you don't get a lot of light with the tinted windows but so all right and I can show you around now so we haven't really done a lot to it the only thing we've really done to it is we updated the mattress to one of those memory foam style mattresses I don't remember what the brand of it was but this is a queen size bed it's got storage underneath that uh, lifts up. So this this bed is actually a full queen bed. Um, the one that came with it was just really, really too short, and it wasn't didn't have much cushion at all. And so we got a full queen, so it sticks out a little bit more than what the the original mattress did. But it's got uh, compartments in here. You got it for hanging clothes and for storage. Same up here. Goes across to the other side. You got like a little cutout to put any kind of machines or phones or whatever for quick access. We did mount, I think this is only like a 20 inch TV in here. It's got a little closet back off in here. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a closet in here. Let me put these up, get some more light in. But, yeah, so we got 20% tent on the windows. I didn't want to do limo. I wanted to block some of the sun, but I didn't want to not be able to kind of see in or out. But this is our bathroom. It's got a toilet, sink, drawer underneath. It's the, the rounded shower. And then it's got these little cabinets in here that we keep our, you know, toothbrush toothpaste all the toiletry items and then going into the main area you've just got it's got a fireplace with a sound bar uh, just a little compartment to hold stuff we've got a TV in here I believe this TV is a 50 inch TV I think it's I've had it for a little while now so I can't remember so here's the, the living area. So this actually has this actually has a, a divider that comes to, uh, right here. So you can either have a, an L-shaped couch or you can put the divider here and just have a three seat couch and a big U-shaped dinette. But we tend to, it doesn't really look all that great because it's not made to do this, but we just took that whole divider piece out and made this one long area and uh, just kind of gives us more room for our family. And then we've got the little bunkhouse back here. The This is just a little uh, door that we use to load all of our stuff in and uh, we just store everything back here whenever we're going to go camping or go, go use it. Uh, it's uh, got a little couch here that folds out into a queen size bed and then this is the bunks that'll fold up if you need to but this is two separate bunks you got one that goes all the way back here and then one that goes from right here all the way to right here and then we've got a little storage area that we just put some of the kids toys and books and just travel uh, necessities in there and then this we also have a 
20 inch TV back here. I think it's a 20, it might be a 25. Can't remember. And then moving on into the kitchen area. So we've got a, this is one thing about this uh, RV or travel trailer. It's got a really nice pantry for storage. So that's nice. It's got little lights all around that makes this really cool. So there's that. We've got this, we also put this little rack on here. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits pretty darn good. The only thing that you got to do when you shut it, you just kind of kind of have to push this uh, in just a little bit. You kind of have to shut it a little harder, but it does fit in there and it gives you a little bit more storage. Then here's our little refrigerator. It uh, runs off of uh, electric. So as long as you've got plugged into your truck or to an outlet it continues to work and then it run, it also runs off of the battery that's uh, connected at the front but we've just got some drinks and stuff in here this thing actually does work pretty darn good uh, there are some issues that they have with these with frosting over so um, what you have to do sometimes if this does uh, freeze over these little screws say hi colton you got these little you've got two tabs back here that you have to unscrew you pull this whole panel down and then it's got the coils and everything that go back there and sometimes those have a tendency to freeze over and so you that's how you have to fix that you got to defrost it and uh, ever since we've done that it's worked really well we've got a little microwave here it's a pretty good size for a uh, our, for a travel trailer um so but there and then we've got a cooktop or we got the uh, vent and then the cooktop here and it's got you push this and it lights up blue down there it's got a little uh, oven down there which works really well and then we've got like the little l-shaped sink and we do have a humidifier in here uh, we got it at I think Walmart and that thing helps out a lot so uh, it works really well then you've just got storage under here for all your necessities that you need for cooking and cleaning and all the drawers and everything in here and then it's got uh just the screen door it's got a little rack to hang the uh, jackets and whatnot and then you've got all your storage up here for your pots and pans and all that good stuff so that is i believe everything on the travel trailer um We've really enjoyed this. We've kind of gone through a few sets of travel trailers and uh, this is the one that's kind of stuck out really uh, well, filled our needs very well because of the, just to have the space. It does have just one slide on it. So it does have an AC unit here that's controlled by this and then we've got uh, one back here that's not automatic. You just turn it on, but it keeps this room immaculately cold this is this is probably the best room to be in whenever it's a hundred degrees out in the summertime also it does have a little light strip at the top so if you don't want all these lights on you can turn that off and you've got like a nice little light coming up from there it's just like a rope light came from the factory that way but we really haven't done anything except we tinted the windows added the tvs and uh, we do need to buy some new tires for this. They've got the Castle Rock, the China Bombs, as people call it. So we're going to go ahead and swap those out and get four new tires and then get a new spare. And uh, so anyways, if you guys have any questions on, on anything on this, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll be glad to answer it for you. So we'll see you guys in a bit. We're going to figure out what we're going to eat for lunch and then I'll kind of Maybe get on the four-wheeler and do some fishing and uh, see if we can catch anything for you guys finally. So we'll see you in a bit. Here's a picture of his golf cart. Got some wheels and some tires on it. Got the Texas Longhorn logo at the front. It's a four-seater and then that back folds out and you can use it as a uh, storage if you want to. So he just kind of drives it around the farm. We got a 110 TL New Holland tractor. That's my dad off in the distance riding a Honda Rancher 420. We've got another Honda Rancher 420 right there. So that, uh, I believe those are like 2013s or 14s. Uh, I've got a Yamaha Grizzly uh, 550. Um, 
this is a 13 and it's only got 80 hours on it so we don't we don't use it that much anymore it just stays out here parked in the shop but we used to take it to uh, Red River New Mexico up in the mountains and ride all over the mountains we'd go out to like River Run uh, go to you know mud parks and stuff like that and ride them but we just don't do it anymore you know when you get kids and family and stuff uh, and then plus trying to haul those behind the big trailer but that's it right there like I said it's a 2013 with 80 uh, hours on it uh, it's got a two inch lift on it and then it's got 27 by 10 by 12 uh, Kenda bear claws and then planet audio sub box it's got two I think these are like maybe six inch subs at the front this is really dirty it's been sitting out under this tree and then it's got a little light bar attached to the that box it's got this little seat back here because Clayton used to ride on the back of that when we used to take it or Stephanie my wife so anyways we're gonna maybe ride around a little bit got a 30 amp plug we got a fire pit uh, we had a real nice uh, guy named Ryan that built these uh, benches and we've got a table out here we've got a light we've got the water connection just right oh, right there and uh, so this is a pretty good little site as long as it doesn't rain because this uh, this grounds kind of sandy so it does uh, it gets can get pretty pretty testy uh, in four-wheel drive out here See if I can catch anything. Hey guys, we actually caught one out here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it off here real quick. You got it? Yeah. Show us. 
All right, guys, I got me one too now. Caught it with these little minnows with the hooks on them. You get this camera situated. Nice. Catching them on these little same one that Clayton and Colton caught. Just a little minnow with a hook on it. So good deal. Finally caught a couple of fish. There we go. Three fish. Finally caught us some on camera. At least we caught some for you guys. Alright, good deal. Now we can go eat. We'll see you guys in a bit. Time for my Zions. Going in to eat Cracker Barrel with mom and dad, Stephanie, Clayton, and Colton and I. But gotta get the Zions in there. Mango guava. See you guys in a bit. That's a good size one. Got another one. Another little bass. Well guys, we uh, actually just got through fishing. We fished all afternoon pretty much after we ate uh, lunch, ate Cracker Barrel for lunch. So we did uh, end up doing pretty good. We used those little minnows like I was showing you guys. So we ended up, I think, catching, I got about eight bass. I think two pounds is probably the biggest uh, that we caught. Uh, but that's pretty good out here in our little pond. And then Clayton ended up catching four or five, and I think Colton caught one. So we had a good time. Now we're kind of wrapping it up. This was just kind of a day thing for Easter. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of close it out here. I'm going to go up there and get everything kind of loaded up and cleaned up and get the kiddos and the wife and head back with our long seven-minute drive home. So pretty close. It's nice. Like I was saying earlier, I hope you guys had a, a happy and blessed Easter and just kind of what i like i said earlier i always uh, think about the sacrifice that jesus made for us don't ever want to forget that i don't want to remember it just one day a year either i want to think about it on my day to day so uh, we're definitely blessed and thankful for the sacrifice that he made for all of us so i'm going to go ahead and close this out um, 
If you guys uh, like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, go out and make some memories. We'll see you.